Hey, this is Ons the Ramen Raider coming at you with another episode of Instant Noodle Recipe Time. This is the show where I show you what to do with your instant noodles. And today I've got another one from Exotic Nudes. Go to exoticnudes.com, use the coupon code the Ramen Raider for a discount. This is Minraku Japanese Ramen Spicy Sesame. Haven't tried this one. There's a pretty broad range of varieties from Minraku. If that makes you happy. And I have critical hopes of that being something that does indeed float your dirigible. So what's the deal? You put in the noodle block. Well, it should already be in there. Unless you're like me and you've been taking pictures. And you put in the powder. in your Berlin water. Time to build your water. The line, which is very like... <laughs> the line on these is very non-committal. I'll, I'll put it that way. It's just like they don't want to... Like, there's kind of a line there, it kind of goes up to here, it's where it is, but kind of, you might just have to kind of figure that out for yourself. And then we got, what, three minutes? Now it steeps. Ah, so what's going on? Still sick. We're wearing a Bluetooth. Hoping that tomorrow, if they do go to school, I can do the top 10 list videos. I've been like, everybody's harassing me that the, the next big list that should be coming out is the Taiwan list. I'm all ready to go for the most part. But yeah. Wow, that alarm is still going off out there. Hey, what are you guys doing? Okay. It was, all of a sudden I realized it's really quiet out there. <laughs> that can be dangerous. But yeah. Yeah. yeah well, that is off. It's very hot. Uh, but yeah. This will work. Got this off of Amazon for 20 bucks. This will work for going out in the... Uh, onslaught of weather. I'll be incredibly visible, that's for sure. With the mask on, I look like I'm wearing a environmental suit. I guess I could, I'll have to, it doesn't really take up much. And what's great is I'm wearing my pajamas under this. You didn't know that, did you? But I could go out wearing my pajamas, just get up, Oh, time to go walking. Throw this on. I'm good to go. The legs are a little long, though. And I walk fast, so hopefully it doesn't, like, trip me up. Might have to, like... Ah, the alarm is off. The alarm is off. The bell no longer tolls for thee, and... I'm guessing it's got to be an equipment fault. I hope so, because if there's somebody out doing it, we're all doomed. I don't know why they would do that, though. I know why they would do that, because they're douchebags. There are people that are really into doing stupid crap like that. I knew a guy, he would call up 911. It's like, don't do that. <laughs> I was hanging out with him once when he did it, and the cops show up, and it's like, well, did you do it? I'm like, no. I, no. Did he do it? I don't know. <laughs> and they were just like, well, we got a phone call, 911. We were sitting by a bench with a payphone and called it up. And I was like, dude, why are you, why, why? What's the, what's to be gained? This is unprofitable. The Ferengi Commerce Authority thinks you're being a big douchebag. Okay, our noodles are done. 
And now we will add the goo, as any good noodle will come with a goo. This one is full of goo. Japanese spicy sesame ramen. That is goo. I wonder if it's more like a spicy miso. Sounds interesting. Okay, we're good there. The broth has a lovely tinge to it. Usually these noodles tend to come out a little spongy. But let's try. good. Hmm. I don't know if I want to call it spicy sesame. Personally, what I want to do though is add chicken. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a bunch of chicken. Ooh, look at that. He's adding chicken today, folks. He's adding the chicken. Big chicken. I baked this at 6.30 a.m. or no, 6 a.m. It was like the first thing I did as soon as I woke up. I had everything all set up and ready. Chicken defrosted. The nine by nine pan sitting on the stove that I put out last night. And then I just took my chicken, put it in, put a little shake of Pappy's seasoning on top, stirred it or shook it around a little bit. And then, uh, yeah, you know, that's how we do here at the Ramen Raider. Okay, hey, don't get rowdy out there. It's too early for rowdy. I still don't feel good. You guys don't feel good. It's just not, not a good combo. Here comes our Ooh, I need to keep the bowl because I have to scan the side. That's my biggest complaint. My Pretty much my only complaint about Minraku products is that they don't tell you. It's a Japanese one, but it's for the U.S. market. And it, but it doesn't tell you how much uh, water to add in. Whereas Japanese ones from in local to Japan, they'll say like, add 400 milliliters or 380 millimeters or 270 milliliters and then you're like oh well i don't need the the package from this anymore i can just rip it apart and scan it depending on the style of packaging that was used and then i can get that all ready but no not with these spicy sesame you gotta add sesame seeds is that the right thing to do? And we're gonna add one more thing. We're gonna add a slice of, what's going on? Hmm. No, don't get in the bathtub. What are you thinking? <laughs> what are you thinking? Here we go, see? Not understated, not too much. See how that looks. Yeah. There you go. I like that. Whoops.
that's it for today for me. It's not even 9 a.m. and I've got all my cooking done. Look at that. That's pretty groovy. And now I'm cutting this up because it's going to get scanned. I'll let you watch me do that for a minute if you really are that interested. That ring off. There's a separation right there. And yeah, I just pull the uh, unfurl it, make it flat. Scan it. Then you'll be able to see all that information on the ramenraider.com when the post posts. So, anyways, this looks pretty good. It tastes pretty good. This has been Hans the Ramen Raider wishing you enjoyment of your noodles each and every day, except for Thursdays. Have a good one. Bye. <laughs>